The shot heard round the world had finally been heard in Eldersburg. In September 1775, five months after the battles of Lexington and Concord and the start of the Revolutionary War, the local Anglican priest fled the Church of England Holy Trinity Parish, that home church of almost all of Eldersburg. He was chased out of town for being loyal to his king. But while some Anglican clergy fled, lay Methodist preachers on horseback continued to preach the word of God. And in 1777, and again in 1780, Francis Asbury himself, the future bishop and most prominent leader in early American Methodism, came and preached in the old Trinity Church right here in Eldersburg, whose members were now almost all Methodists. So how did we get from this group of Episcopalians abandoned by their clergy to the Wesley Freedom United Methodist Church we know today? I'm Rev. Ian Collier, and this is a special edition of Two Minute Methodism. Methodism had been in Carroll County since the 1760s, when Robert Strawbridge, an Irish Methodist preacher, built his home near modern-day New Windsor and he was formally assigned as a preacher to the Methodists in the greater Baltimore area at Annual Conference 1773. So Carroll and Baltimore counties really are the birthplace of all of American Methodism. But when we think about our parish's history, our beginnings don't lie with any single leader, but with the faith of everyday people earnestly trying to practice their faith according to Wesley's method of small groups. The first official class meeting that would turn into Wesley Freedom was hosted in 1780 by a man named Daniel Elliott, who would become one of Wesley Chapel's original trustees. He held this in his home, which was built in Howard County in an area called Delaware Bottom. This is near the intersection of Marriott'sville Road and Old Frederick Road today. Eight years later, another class meeting would pop up closer to Eldersburg, and by 1803, all of these Methodist classes had united into a single society that met in the Shipley family home, which was on land that would later be turned into Springfield Hospital. As the War of 1812 was coming to an end in 1815, Eldersburg Methodists would move into our first building, a log cabin named Antioch situated a bit north of where Wesley Chapel lies today. This first building ended up being only a stepping stone, as our spiritual forefathers would begin construction of Wesley Chapel only six years later, under the leadership of Reverend Samuel Gore and trustee John Elder, the son of the John Elder after whom Eldersburg is named. Wesley Chapel opened its doors the following year, and this year, 2022, marks the 200th anniversary of Wesley Chapel, our second building, being completed and Eldersburg Methodist getting the name Wesley. Though Wesley Chapel is currently unsafe for human entry, it was the sole home for Eldersburg Methodists until the Civil War when those who refused to free their slaves and were allied with the Southern Rebellion broke away. But that's a story for another day.